Nick, thanks for your time. It's a pleasure. I've always got time for you, Ty. Do you feel sunny and optimistic about our education nation? Always optimistic. It's on the front page of the newspaper today, <laughs> Ty, so that's not such a bad thing, is it? Frankly, just sick and tired of this polarised thinking, this left versus right, left brain, right brain, left wing, right wing. And I think there's got to be some middle ground in all this. But we've all seen the TED Talks. We've got to get on and get some stuff done here for the sake of our kids. Ken Robinson was here last year, so Ken Robinson, you know, someone who inspired us. I, I don't think everything he says is right. Teachers teach to the EBAC at the moment, because there's been a five-fold increase in the way that people are dropping art subjects. My son is in a secondary school in, in London, in one of the best secondary schools, state secondary schools in London, apparently. At Ofsted Outstanding. They're dust sheeting state-of-the-art DT equipment. He got in on his own merit, on art aptitude, and now they're not even offering art. Yes, this is very personal. I'm just a dad. I'm not an educational expert. It's, what's been lovely coming back here, last year we were here, we had a big theme, theme area with Barclays. We, we called it Inspire Nation. What's been lovely is to bump into people who remember that and said that how that's informed their work or asked us to get involved in things. So we were back to that left brain, right brain thinking and that's where STEAM is a very holistic mashup. It brings the left and, and the right and the art and science together. Nick Gibbs stood up in Parliament recently and said that coding is key. Why is there no coding in my son's secondary? Because it's an academy and they can opt out of coding. So my audience are teachers. They are business people who accept their role in society. They are creatives. All these people need to come together to help educate and inspire our children, particularly at primary, because primary teachers are flat out teaching kids to read, write and do maths. It takes a whole village to inspire a child. So what, what people are arguing, that's behind your work, Nick, which I admire greatly and I'm very grateful for, is to put A into STEM so it becomes STEAM. Um, but it's really just another way of saying, can we please have a balanced curriculum and not a narrow, uh, obsessively linear curriculum? Thank you. Civilization is a race between education and catastrophe. And when you look at the economic, cultural and social challenges that we are charged with in education to try and deal with, he's not exaggerating. 